Do you think that it's easy and effortless to create change in your life? Whether it's making more money, losing weight, or finding the perfect relationship, does one come easier than the other? Maybe you're someone who's confident in life, or maybe you're someone who's struggling to control the inner dialogue and self-talk. Whether you're confident or you're struggling, all of this is created from your internal self-image. Your self-image is how you perceive yourself. It is a number of self-impressions that have been built up over time. These self-images can be very positive, giving you confidence in your thoughts and actions on a daily basis. Or they can be negative, making you doubtful of your capabilities and of your ideas about yourself. What you see when you look in the mirror and how you picture yourself in your head is known as your self-image. So why does this matter? As the best-selling author Dr. Maxwell Maltz said, the self-image is the key to human personality and human behavior. Change the self-image and you can change the personality and the behavior forever. If things aren't going to plan in your life, it might not actually be because of your lack of willpower or your work ethic. While those can factor into it, it might actually be your self-image that is holding you back from reaching your goals. But if you are ready to make massive change, you absolutely can. You just need to learn the right methods. You don't need to sit around hoping for change any longer. Instead, you need to start changing your habits to create lasting change within your self-image. As Dr. Maxwell Maltz said, our self-image and our habits tend to go together. Change one and you will automatically change the other. Here are five ways that you can change your self-image forever. Step number one, write in a journal and craft the future you. First off, identify who you are and where you want to be in life. Take some time to write down exactly where you are and who you are at this moment. Highlight your qualities, your values, and recognize anything that you see as a negative about yourself. It might be that your negative beliefs about yourself only come up in certain situations. If this is the case, understand why you feel more negative about yourself at these times. Did something happen a long time ago? Is there an old belief that no longer serves you but still keeps popping up in your life? Write all of this down in a journal. Take some time and enjoy this time with yourself to begin to understand who you are so you can then shape who you want to be. Next up, redefine who you want to be. Who will you be in the next one, three, five, or 10 years? Keep all of the good qualities that you have noted down in the previous response, and then take all of the negatives you have about yourself and turn them into positive statements. Read this new definition back to yourself every single day for the next two to three weeks so you can start acting like this person and making decisions based on the completely new and positive version of yourself. All it takes is two to three minutes each morning to read this vision of yourself on a daily basis to begin to reprogram your subconscious and help you make lasting change forever. Step number two, use affirmations. As best-selling author Jack Canfield said, repeating an affirmation several times a day keeps you focused on your goal, strengthens your motivation, and programs your subconscious by sending an order to your crew to do whatever it takes to make that goal happen. Start by picking three to five affirmations that are based on your future self that you found in the previous step. For example, if you're struggling with money, pick affirmations like, I am wealthy or I am prosperous. If you're trying to lose weight, use affirmations like, I am lean or I am healthy. 
Using affirmations with repetition will begin to reform how you see yourself from the inside out. Step number three, visualize success. Do you ever carve out time now to actually visualize your future? If not, you're missing out on a powerful tool to create lasting change. Creative visualization is used by high performance Olympic athletes, CEOs, and top performers in all fields to rehearse future events before they actually happen. As Earl Nightingale said, visualization is the human being's vehicle to the future, good, bad, or indifferent. It's strictly in our control. While you're getting used to your new self-image, start to visualize yourself as the new you. How will you deal with certain people and certain situations? What will your daily routine look like? How will you show up in the world? Within your visualization sessions, try to bring in as many senses as possible to fully engage the power of your mind. What will you hear, smell, taste, and what will the experiences feel like? The reason that this is so important is because your self-image is drawn from your subconscious mind. Using the power of creative visualization and trying to picture, feel, and imagine the future you, you will begin to see this as a reality because the subconscious does not know the difference between what is real and what is imagined. Rehearse the new you over and over and over again. This will help you see, feel, and begin to act like your future self. Step number four, use hypnotherapy. A big part of your self image is the voice that lives within us all. These thoughts are automatic and deeply embedded into our minds based off of past experiences and behaviors. Just think, if you look in the mirror, the subconscious tells you what to see. It happens unconsciously and automatically. In other words, low self-esteem is often the result of flaws within your own subconscious. Remember, our automatic thoughts are not rational. They aren't based in fact. Very often, they're deeply embedded from childhood memories and experiences, which are overly critical and often unhealthy to your success. But what if these thoughts could be quieted or better yet, removed altogether? What if you could gain control over your inner voice and reteach it to be more supportive, positive, and helpful? This is the power of hypnotherapy. You can begin to access the unconscious automatic thoughts using the power of suggestion and begin to unseat and reframe those negative limiting beliefs. Simply put, hypnotherapy can be a very powerful tool for targeting the root cause of low self-esteem and low confidence within yourself. It can help prevent those negative, overly critical thoughts from telling you how to feel about yourself and instead empower you to become the person that you want to become. Step number five, take action. Habits won't change themselves. You have to do the little things every single day to begin to change your self image. Nothing will work unless you do. You have to make an effort to use one or all of these methods to start to change your self image to where it makes it feel effortless to achieve your goals and dreams. Remember, changing your self image is possible if you use these methods with repetition. As Dr. Maxwell Maltz said, human beings always act and feel and perform in accordance with what they imagine to be true about themselves and their environment. Take action every single day to start evolving into the person that you want to become. Change will not happen overnight. It only happens with repetition and consistency to achieve your goals. Don't give up, stay strong, 
and be committed to becoming the ultimate version of yourself.